And, and good morning, YouTube. It's the old soldier coming back at you from Robinson County, North Carolina. How is everybody doing today? T G I F. Thank God it is Friday. Um. So we're gonna try something. I think it started last Friday, if I can remember that far back. Uh, just kind of a fun fact Friday. But I'm gonna combine today's kind of with a gear review, if you will. Um, we're going to be talking about the M3 fighting knife. Well, what is the M3 fighting knife, old soldier? Well, I'm glad you, I'm glad you, the viewers, have asked. This is the M3 fighting knife. All right. It has a leather stacked handle and hilt, pommel. It has a long blade on this side, and I guess you'd call that a half blade, right? Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it goes full tang all the way to the back, as you can see right here, and then supposedly stacked leather on top for the handle. Um, why did I choose this one? Well, because it just did. Um, I'm fascinated with anything airborne related. Why? Because my daddy was a paratrooper. My daddy had one of these in World War II. Um, little story what happened to his uh, let's just say he didn't use it to kill Germans with but he used it to clean out his underwear once and shortly after his jump into D-Day all the adrenaline and food gave him some loose bowel syndrome and well needless to say the knife stayed with the mess okay um, that was all he'd ever tell me about that story but long story short is that this was designed, developed, and issued um, to replace the trench knife of World War I, the Mark I trench knife. Uh, and you can pull all this information up on uh, Wikipedia is where I'm reading it from, um, plus my own research I've done. But this would also become the basis for uh, the M4 bayonet for the M1 carbine. What they did, they would take uh, this part right here and replace it with a bayonet lug and a locking mechanism back here on the pommel, okay? Uh, and eventually the blade itself would go on to be the blade for various other bayonets, for various other rifles, such as the M1 Garand, the M14 rifle, and the M16. And they would, you know, for the, and, and of course the Army in its nomenclature naming, it was the M4 bayonet for the M1 carbine, it was the M5 bayonet for the M1 Garand, it's the M6 bayonet for the M14 rifle and the M7 bayonet for the M16 rifle. That's a mouthful of M's and 16's and 14's and 17's, all based off of that right there. Okay. Now, uh, the beauty about this knife, like I said, it, it's got a fairly narrow blade, if you will. Um... It even went on to replace the uh, Farben Sykes dagger that the OSS used. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think some of the inspiration came from the commando daggers, such as the Farben Sykes or the, um, oh Lord, what's the name of it? It was the British version. Um, well, that's where the Farben Sykes got its... Uh, inspiration from but the British commando dagger I want to say it was the mark 42 let me look that up right quick while we're sitting here talking about this um, yeah and I don't own a Fairbairn Sykes dagger as much as I'd love to have one even the reproductions of those things are somewhat somewhat pricey yeah the the British had what was called the v42 stiletto I believe no, that was the first special service force. But there was a British commando dagger. That might have been the Farabin Sykes. Got a whole bunch of facts jumbled up in my head today. But that's okay. Um, we'll get it straightened out. Um, but the Farabin Sykes was kind of a boot knife type deal. It was a dagger. Um, along with the V-42 stiletto. Okay. And yeah, the, the Farabin Sykes was the British commando dagger. My apologies. And then we developed the V42 stiletto based off of it. Um, and then, of course, we eventually came out with the M3. Now, the M3 
in World War II, a lot of times the issue with a leather scabbard. Now this is a um, this is a reproduction scabbard and a reproduction knife. Um, I want to say I bought the scabbard from at the front. Um, there's several other companies out there that make reproduction scabbards. Um, when I bought the knife originally, it came with the green plastic fiberglass scabbard that many veterans would associate with the old M16, M14 bayonets. Um, but in World War II, 9 out of 10 times, these were issued with a leather scabbard. Um, and paratroopers would strap it to the boot a lot of times um, and have it readily available for when they jumped. Uh, but to be quite honest, a lot of times these things would be reserved for opening cans and, and uh, other duties than as a fighting knife. But it, overall, it's a good design, I think. Um, well balanced, it's light. You know, again, the narrow blade with the sharp pointed end, it, you know, it, it can go in and out of a target fairly smoothly. The handle's got a good grip to it. Um, and if I wanted to, I could wrap some additional leather strapping around it if I really wanted to heft it up. But as it is by itself, is phenomenal. You got the pommel down here that you know, on the hilt that, you know, it's got a striking plate, if you will. So you can use both ends of it. Um, I guess you could use this in an emergency as a field expedient hammer. I wouldn't recommend it, though. That little pin in there looks like it might pop out when you do that. But uh, if anybody's ever seen the old Air Force pilot survival knives, they got a leather stacked handle, too. And they've got a, an octagonal type um, pommel on the hilt. Uh, and it's designed for striking with, to be quite honest. It's designed to be as a, used as a hammer butt, if you will. Now, there were several companies that have produced these over the years. Um, you've got Ariel Cutlery, WR Cases and Son Cutlery, Imperial Knife, PAL Cutlery, Camillus. Camillus is a big name. Uh, Robinson, Sure Edge, Cutlery County Company, uh, Lakin Folks Incorporated, uh, Utica Cutlery, H. Boker and Company, and another popular one, the Ontario Knife Company. Now, this particular blade. And this is a reproduction, by the way. Um, what's it say here? This is made by H. Boker and Company, which is one of the names that I mentioned on there, okay? And, uh, that sucker's sharp, too. I tell you. It'll cut through whatever you want it to cut through. And it'll go into whatever you want it to go into. But it's just a handy little knife. And like I said, World War II is when it came in. Um, they were issued the primarily airborne and ranger type units during the war, um, in addition to their bayonet, okay. Um, and then the Marines, the Marines had their K-Bar, uh, which K-Bar, believe it or not, folks, is a name brand more than the style. It's just become associated uh, with that. Um, but it's a fighting knife in and of itself. Um, yeah, the K-Bar U Fighting Utility Knife. I used to have one of those. I got, I'm thinking about buying another one. Because uh, those are kind of, those are based more on a Bowie style type. Uh, whereas this one's more of a dagger type. But there was another knife that the Navy used, the Mark II Utility Knife. Um, and again, it had a, a stacked leather handle. Um, and it was just, and it basically looked like a, an old-fashioned hunting knife is what it really looked like. And I might eventually get one of those too, and then we'll bring those up and show them and do a little brief rundown of history on the channel with that. But I thought I'd share that with you today. Um, like I said, it's just part of my little collection of knives I got. I say a little, I got more knives I can shake a stick at. If I get one more knife, I think Mrs. Old Soldier's going to pull her hair out or either beat me with one of them, one of the three. But anywho, anyhow, anyway, yeah, I'm going to get that on a t-shirt, Cheryl. Um, so... That being said, I hope everybody's having a great and wonderful Friday. Tomorrow, 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 we're doing the giveaway. I'm going to start a live video at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 1,900 hours for all you military types. Okay, it's 7 in the evening for you civilian types. And for you Marines... That's when Mickey's big hand is on the one and Mickey's little hand's on the seven. Okay? All right. So, 
7 o'clock tomorrow evening, Eastern Standard Time. We're going to start the live video, and we're going to have our drawing for the giveaways. Uh, like I said, the third place prize winner is going to get Thoughts of an Old Soldier. Second place is going to get an Old Soldier's Poetry and Prose of Life, Love, and Liberty. And the first place winner, which will be the third one drawn, uh, is going to receive a very nice surprise gift. You'll be, I think everybody will be pleasantly surprised as to what it's going to be. And uh, so make sure you tune in. May, see if you, your entry won. Because if it did, I'm going to need you to email me your email address and mailing address to rantsofanoldsoldier at gmail.com so I can mail these things out to you. And I was asked yesterday, will the poetry books be signed? Yes. What I'll do after we do the drawing and we associate the winner to the particular book, I will sign them right then and there on video um, addressing to that winner. Okay, so that way when you get that book, it will be a signed copy. Now, if anybody would desire a copy uh, don't want to wait for this to see if they win, you can go down to the links below to Amazon and order, um, order them and have them mailed to you. And if you do and you want them signed, you can mail them to me. I'll sign them and send it back to you at no cost to you as far as the mailing back um, with a signed copy. So, that being said, I'm going to get off here here in just a second. I've got to go and cut grass today. And uh, before it gets too exorbitantly warm outside, I've also got to call the VA. And that could take anywhere from two to three hours to get through to them um, on what I need to talk to them about. But it is what it is. Um, so, as always, uh, remember our men and women in uniform each and every day, especially their families as they serve also. Um, and that these people somewhere, someplace in the world, there is an individual standing between us and those that would do us harm, ready to give our, their life in our defense. Um, also remember our police and our first responders too um, as on each and every day who knows what they go into so if you will remember them in your thoughts and your prayers um, so keep them in, in, in mind uh, charities pin up for vets tunnels to towers.org and valid for veterans and all the links are below down in my description help them out in any way you possibly can they can't do what they do uh, on thoughts and goodwill um, they need help, and if you if you can, help them out. And then some vendors I'd ask you to support. If you live here in this area, firearms needs, Money Quick Pond, Rayford Road, right beside the tractor supply. Um, Robert's Custom Woodworks. He's a personal friend of mine. His stuff is just phenomenal. Go to his Etsy site and check out his, his examples he puts on there. You will be pleasantly surprised at the quality and the craftsmanship he puts into each piece he makes. Um, and likewise, the same thing for Unsung Patriot with his t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and all his other products lined on his uh, Etsy store site. And um, if anybody wants one of these shirts, I've got a Teespring's link below. You know, you can get those too. Thoughts of an old soldier, old soldier approved. And on the back, Old Glory as the sun goes down um, and I've got sweatshirts t-shirts long sleeve t-shirts and ladies t-shirts on that and then when I get the other made sure I'll let you know <laughs> but until then folks God bless take care and as always if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior I would ask you to take him into your heart ask him to forgive you your sins repent of your ways that you too may be saved and have a life eternal in heaven when you leave this this earth <laughs> didn't promise us an easy life here but our rewards in paradise with him in heaven above and with that folks take care god bless and i will be talking to y'all real soon tomorrow this old soldier proved this old soldier out